arising from the good name, connection, position, and reputation of the business, which makes it to earn more profit. When we're talking about goodwill, a company can have goodwill, and goodwill is an intangible asset. And when we're talking about goodwill, goodwill is the some ad additional advantage that a company has that bring as value to the company. So that's what we call goodwill, and they benefit from it. Like when the company is situated in a good area, whereby customers patronize them very well. So you can call it also goodwill. The management team, those people that are working for them, how intellectual they are, can also add goodwill to the company. And the, rep and the reputation of the company also is another thing that can consider to know whether the company has a goodwill. So they will account for goodwill when they are to revalue the asset. Because, and they we share the goodwill among them when they are administering. So when there is need for admission of partner, then goodwill will involve, then the revaluation account will also involve. Now, this is the format of a revaluation account. Don't forget we have a debit side and the credit side. On the credit side, we have an increase in value of an asset. Now, if the, the asset stood at the value of, let's say, uh, motor van in balance sheet, stood at the value of 5,000 in the balance sheet, and they revalue it again, and it become 6,000. That means there is increase in value, or increase in the value of that asset of 1,000 naira. Do you understand? So that is a what well, that is a, that one will be under increase in value of an asset. And uh, in financial statement, we can call it revaluation profit. Yes. Any 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 increase in income, any increase in profit of an asset is what we call revaluation. In financial statement, in the real practice, they call it revaluation profit. Now, yeah, so there is increase in your one thousand in the asset. So it has to be on the credit side of the revaluation account. Then at the debit side you have a, a decrease in value of liability or reduction uh, where we have an increase in value of liability and a reduction in value of an asset. When there is a when it stood at five thousand and at the, uh, the market value it becomes four thousand that means there is reduction of one thousand in asset. So when you revalue those assets you find the difference at the end of the day. If there is loss, then they share the loss. If there is profit, then if the credit is greater than, you know, the one in the credit side will be increase in value, and the one in the credit side will be decrease in uh, value of an asset. Then after that, you find the difference and you share the profit. That's what we call revaluation. If they share profit, we what we call revaluation profit at the end of the day. Now, let's go to illustration. We are, we treat a uh, revaluation account. Yeah, they said James, Luke, and John are in partner sharing profit and loss equally. Now, the following is the balance sheet of the business as of 31st December 1999. Now, so this is the balance sheet they have before. Now, additional information. On 31st, it was agreed as follows. That means this is the balance sheet that they have, the three partners have, as at when they have not, a new partners have not been admitted. That is where we work on and prepare our evaluation account. Now, they said it was agreed that A, on the 31st December 1999, Tunde was admitted into the partner. That means Tunde is admitted. So when Tunde will be is admitted, that means they need to revalue the asset of the all this uh, balance sheet, they need to revalue the fiscal and the current uh, liability therein. So they need to revalue it to know the market value of it. Then profit and loss will be shared equally. Then Tunde shall bring one forty-five thousand as a capital. So Tunde as a new capital is putting one forty-five thousand into the business, into the partnership. So. They are four in partnership now. Then, goodwill will be valued at 35000 and it is to be retained in the book. That is where goodwill arises. When there is admission, then they will first value the goodwill, the business up. They value it in a, in, in, a, in, a, in a certain figure. Though, it depends on the knowledge of an accountant, 
they are value the goodwill, but they will make they will just make sure that they value it. And here in the question, we value at thirty five thousand naira, and they that will be shared by the three partners before they admit to the into the partner. The following asset, this the here we go. These are the value asset in the that of a balance sheet is is a value. The value premises are the three hundred thousand furniture one fifty two. Multiply cool, we have three plant and maintenance we have forty five and stocks we have fifteen thousand naira. So we know in the question whether it is increased or decreased at the end of the day. Now you are required to pay one the valuation account. Then then we have a current account. Then we are told to prepare balance sheet after admission of Tunde into the partnership. So let's go to the question and uh, treat the revolution. So before the admit uh, Tunde into the the partner uh, the partnership uh, business, they must first revalue the asset. So we write revaluation account. Here we have a debit and the credit side. Don't forget. So increase in the side of increase, we have increase in value of assets, and we have decrease in value of assets. Now here we go. Now let's 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 now look those assets that was valued. Let's look at the additional information. The following assets were valued premises. The premises before is three twenty thousand and uh, it stood three hundred thousand here at the market value. So there is decrease in value of of uh, uh, premises. So it will be under here premises. That is uh, just less 320 minus 300, that is 20. So decrease of uh, 20,000. Now, the next one is furniture and fitting. The furniture and fitting is 152, and uh, the balance sheet is uh, 157. It was 157, and it, it is 152. In the, it was valued as 152. That means there is also decrease in value of asset. So, furniture. And fitting five thousand is the difference. Now, motor vehicle, motor vehicle stood at seven thousand in the balance sheet and was valued as three thousand here. That means there is a decrease in value of motor vehicle, and that is seven thousand. So motor van seven thousand. Then. Let's look at that F. We have provision for 350. A provision of 350 used to be made for bad debt. So that is, is another that is, that is a, another uh, loss on that side. That means out of the debtor. Let's look at the debtor. The debtor is 26. They said out of it, 350, 3,500 is provision of 35 is made as bad debt. So you left. 26,000 plus 35, but before you let it in the balance sheet, you treat it as a decrease in value as well. Decrease in value, that means provision for bad debt. So that means there is decrease in value of that debt again. Now, after that, don't forget we have the good which should be valued at 35. That means it has 35,000 naira. So there is increase in value because uh, goodwill is an advantage to a business. So before they can admit today, they have to value the asset and uh, share the revaluation profits, which is share of profit at the end of the day. Then plant and machinery. Plant and machinery was 25,500 in the balance sheet and was valued at 45,000. So what happened here? There is an increase in the value of an asset here. So you please put it at the credit side because it, it, is a, it is an additional profit or income 
that comes in to profit on the disposal uh, valuation of assets. So that's why it's here. Now, let's look at the uh, stock. Stock stood at uh, 14,000 and it was valued at 16,000 here. So that means there is an increase in value of uh, 2,000 in stocks at the end of the day. So having done that, then you now add the total together to know whether the revaluation there is loss or profit there. So now let's this one is a fifty-six thousand five hundred. Now when you let this from this, you see that this is greater than that means there is a profit in the revaluation account. So then you share the profit according to their uh, sharing profit ratio. And don't don't forget Don't forget that the share of profit is equally. That means ratio 1, 1, and 1. So that means uh, ratio 1 over 3. So we share the profit. Not, today we not share the profit because today is just a new partner. Before they can ask, admit today, they have to revalue the asset they have and liability before doing that. So these are the ones that they revalued. It's not, uh, every, it's not most of the time every information in the balance sheet will be revalued, but out of the information in the balance sheet is uh, revalued but not everything. So the one that I revalue is what we bring under revaluation account. So James, so if you, if you see the difference, the difference is 21,000, the difference of this and this is 21,000, so you share the profit equally. So James will have 7,000. Look, we have 7,000. Why John? We also have 7,000. So then let's add it. Let's balance it. 